In this tutorial I'll use GIMP to make a scrapbook page but first we need some backgrounds and uh, images that we can load in and make it look much prettier. Now I'll go to websites and they'll be displayed on the screen, written across the screen and also in the description of these links. This one's the, the, uh, the background for paper backgrounds for the uh, patterns. So once it's loaded you scroll down and get your paper pattern. And I'll scroll down and choose a reasonable texture one. That one there I think looks needs, needs enough. Click on it and it brings it up in another web, web page. Right click on the image itself and there it says there choose the size you want. Now I'll, cho I'll choose the uh, medium 640. Click on there and now it's, it gives you the option to download. You go to there and you download the photo. Now I'm using Opera so you may be using another type of web browser so I click on save and because I have my documents and I have a download uh, folder I'll put it in the new folder because I already have it there once and so I, I click on it and save it uh, to that folder and that's that one done. Now we need some uh, some little images we can put on the corner of our pages when we, we finally get there. And this one here is a is what they call the borders. So we'll need one of those borders. Um, just right click the area and ask it to copy the image. And it'll copy it to the clipboard. Tuck, tuck it away on the clipboard for you. Now we need to uh, close that one off and we'll open up GIMP while we're here. We'll open GIMP. Because we put it on the clipboard we just go to edit and paste and it pastes it in there for you. You go to right click on the top one and add an alpha channel. Now we need to make these into brushes. So what we do now, we I've put an alpha channel in which gives me a transparency when I delete the white. So you've got this one here, you've got your select by colour tool which makes it nice and easy to make a good selection. You click inside the, the uh, white area and now it's selected it all. Just hit the delete key on the keyboard and now it's deleted it all. We go to select and we select none. Now it's got our little corners. Now we go to our uh, rectangle select tool and we select around one of our corners like so. And then we go up and ask it to copy to the clipboard again. Then it puts it on the clipboard. This other one now is no longer here. Now if I put it go into the paintbrush tool and you can see over in the corner here that particular one you click on it when you put something on the clipboard it becomes a temporary brush and it's loaded into your brush folder you can see it sitting there and also it gives you the size of the brush now it's 40, 145 by 154 so we go and make a new file and we put it in what's written in the top there 145 by 154. Now we, we need to go to advance. We click on the advance button and a little tiny cross. And now we can pull down this menu here and we want a transparency. Click on that and click OK. And it gives us our new window with the size of that little uh, brush I've cut out. Now I go to edit. We're using this new menu here now. We click on edit and we paste it. Now it's pasted it in there and we pasted it in there. Now it's a floating layer so we click the the button there and create a complete layer. We do, don't need that one there we just dump it in the waste bin. You're working in a new window. We go to file and we save as. Now it's going to be a brush so we need to put it in our brush folder. Your uh, name folder like so. There's GIMP. We open up the GIMP and then brushes. Now we're going to put in a new brush. We've got, I've got some butterfly ones in there I made earlier. What I did then, it was just clicked on there to give me the extension. So I just click on that one there and type in corner. Whoop, no we don't. We go into there and type in corner and then click save. Now that's the, the file name for the, uh, for the folder. Now it comes up again and asking for another description. This is the one that will be showing in the window down on the side of your uh, description window. So in here we type in corn again 01 and then save it. 
and we, we don't require that anymore. Now, you can see there it's only in the, the fold as the clipboard, but there's nothing in here as yet. But if we hit this little button down the bottom here, it will put it in there. And you can see now your new corner. If I click on that, it tells you it's corner 01. So that was the tag name we gave it on the second uh, save as. Now we need to go back and get some more goodies. So I put in a new address on here, click it in and click OK. It brings up a set of brushes for a GIMP. This fellow here has already made them for us, so it's very good. So all we need to do now is download the file. They're quite free. That's quite a large file, but they're all nicely coloured. So most of your um, your brushes or your uh, are in black and white. So we click on the down file, go down and refresh my brushes again. Click on refresh. And there's all the pretty flower brushes we have. Now just I'll just open a file to show you how they look. New page to work on. Now I'll click on one of the brushes and go to the brush and you'll see now I resize the brush just move your slider back nice and small and then click there's your new brush now they're nicely colored for our scrapbook now we can go back and get some more goodies uh, brushes uh, some nice ones and this is the butterfly brushes you can download it so you click on the download button and will download them onto your computer they're in a, uh, a zip type of file so you click on save and we save them to our new folder. 7-zip, I find that a very good one. So I'll, I'll open it with 7-zip and I'll extract, uh, extract them into this folder. And it's put them in a nice little folder for me. I click on there. Now, and it's got another one. We open up that one. We return to GIMP. Go to File and Open. Colourful insects, the butterflies. Now it's in one of those. You click on that particular one, and you open the the folder. You've got all those pretty butterflies there, and the, you can see with that uh, thumbnail image. You open that in GIMP. Now we have the butterfly folder in GIMP. Now you'll notice that there's some white in the in those images of the butterflies. So we need to pick a, a colour that. Uh, it's not really in there, so I'll pick a bit hard. There is some deep blues. What about a real hard purple? That'll do. Okay. Now I fill this with the bucket fill tool. This makes it a little bit easier for you to do. Now you can see there everything's covered, covered in that colour. I make sure there's an alpha channel. Right click on the top one. Add an alpha channel. I go to my tool, select by colour. And now I can select all the purple. There's no other purples in the uh, butterfly. So now I can hit the delete key and remove all that background. So I'll go to select and now select none. Now I need to cut out my butterflies. So because they're all, you can't put a nice square image around them, you go to free select tool. And let's say, I, I say, um, I'll choose this one here. Just, just to clip around the edges like so so you don't clip the other butterfly and then come back and return to the start point now it's selected go to edit now it's selected you go to edit and you copy now once again we go into their paintbrush and you'll see it on the top there we click on it and it gives me the size it's 125 by 123 so now I go open a new file one two five by one two three click on this little button here and I go down and ask for transparency and click OK now GIMP opens up that little um, background layer for me and I click on it, edit and I paste that one in there once again it's a floating layer I click this icon down at the bottom here and make it a complete layer right click the top layer and merge down and now I go to file and save as once again it's a butterfly so I need to click on the uh, we've got a few butterflies there and what have I got up to 12 I think yeah okay I click on the uh, top one and change that to 12 
and just move it over one with the arrow key and put in a two and then click save now it's in the brush folder of course and of course it'll, it'll save it now and once again it will ask for a description so now I need to type in here butterfly uh, underscore one two and then save it don't worry about the spacings that was just shown here you can change them you can close it off now now once again you come down and you refresh your brushes now you have that nice little butterfly there you click on it and it's called butterfly one two so you, you go through and you do the same thing with all the other butterflies and make up your uh, your uh, brushes with these colorful brushes we close that one off we don't save now we have our scrapbook kit ready in a special folder we go to file and now we go to open now we open our background layer that's the one we downloaded and for some reason they like to make them nice and big but I've made it a bit smaller for um, for this particular purpose here now it's uh, they usually have it 12 by 12 it's quite a large um, scrapbook page why they choose that format I'm not quite sure so the next thing we need to do is load one of our images so we go to open as a layer and one of our images in our folder so we just pick on uh, that now it's too big for that page so I need to go and resize it go my resize tool and scale it down now make sure you keep the aspect ratio because otherwise you can get distorted just pull it down to a size that you feel it'll fit the uh, and hit scale okay we got it nicely scaled we can rotate it so I'll first I'll put a border around it <coughs> now we need you need to go to your rectangular select tool and select around the edge of the photograph that makes it a, a selection come over to your paintbrush dialog and uh, pick a, a reasonable pretty flower that we've downloaded uh, maybe that one will do and you'll notice there it's got the spacings by 100 so we can pull that back to about uh, 40 now we go to edit and we go to stroke now click on the stroke by brush and before we stroke by a brush we should make sure our our brush is the right size we click on the brush oh that's a beast so we need to down uh, use the bracket keys to squeeze it down to the smallest size around about uh, that should do it now we go back to edit and stroke with selection now we stroke with the brush and that puts them pretty little flowers all the way around that that border now we go to select and select none now we can rotate that if we wish we just click on the rotation tool and just rotate it because it's on a separate layer there and so we just rotate it a fraction not too much because sometimes you can distort the photo so GIMP does a reasonably good job there now we're going to load another image as a layer so once again we're in our kit and we let's see we've got another one there so I'll click on that one and open that one this one's quite a large file you can see 0.6 megapixel I downloaded some butterflies somewhere yeah we'll put that one in there and we make that our brush now make sure your butterfly is the right size you can just see the outline of it uh, just plonk it there and fire there it is no, it, now it's starting to look like a scrapbook so anyway then we go and we can put in another couple of flowers uh, we'll choose this one here nice pretty rose and we go to our paintbrush tool again and it's far too big Re resize it by hitting our square bracket key on the left hand side which brings it down to a smaller size and we put our flower in there and you can put a few more pretties in there it's uh bring that one down put one there okay now uh, <coughs> that's reasonably good 
The next scrapbook part will be on using templates from other sites, but you can build your own in this format. Thank you for watching.